Welcome to TechBrothers with Amaru. In this video, we are going to learn how to pass variable value from parent SSIS package to the child SSIS package. Now, let's go ahead and uh, create our couple of packages and uh, experiment this one. So, you are going to be in the Visual Studio and uh, whatever you call SSDT or Visual Studio, and that's where you are going to create your packages. So, right click on the packages, new SSIS package, and here my package is ready. I'm going to rename to this parent. Now, our parent package is ready. And uh, what we are going to do next, uh, we are going to create a variable in our parent SSIS package. Let's go ahead and create this variable. Click here, add variable. And then uh, I'm going to name this uh, parent uh, value variable. Okay. So this is be uh, this is going to be okay if we keep it integer and the value is going to be like, let's say we do 100. Now that's all good. Now we have to create another package. That's going to be our child package. And then uh, once child package is ready, we'll do a few things so right here let's uh, rename and I'm gonna call this guy child now what we can do we can call this child package in the parent package so we are in the parent package right now if you see right there our parent and I have to get the execute package task so once I get that one I have to open it and then uh, we have to provide some information where our child package is existing. So reference type, you have a project reference and here if you select the project reference and click right there, it's going to show you all the packages which are in the same project. Also, there are other places such as external references and your package might have been stored on the SQL server or file system. So you can choose wherever it is. The child package does exist. In my case, I'm going to be going with the project reference. Now click right here and in the drop down, choose the child package. Now leave everything as it is. No, no big deal. Uh, and uh, we are all done here. Now what I can do, I can uh, run my parent package and what's going to happen uh, is going to execute our child package. So you see that uh, it uh, started a child package and it completed successfully right there. There is nothing in the child package as of now and I would like to make some changes to the child package. So remember that we have a variable in uh, our uh, parent package and uh, in the parent package that's our variable name. So how I can prove that uh, I'm uh, uh, passing this uh, value of this variable to the child package? There are multiple ways. So maybe one of that is a script task. I can use a script task and uh, in the child package, and then uh, I can uh, um, show in the message box. Okay. So right here, I open the uh, uh, script task, and then uh, I'm going to go to the read-only variables. So I'm not writing anything. I'm just reading. Uh, the values from the parent value uh, variable so that's all good I'm gonna go hit uh, edit script uh, and now I have to write some uh, message box uh, script so once uh, this open we will go and write right here so what I can do I can do say message box dot show and uh, what I need to show DTS dot variables and uh, inside the variable what is the name of the variable so I have a uh, square parentheses double quotes and then paste your uh, variable name here and the uh, dot value and then uh, to string okay because the uh, uh, message box is the need uh, to show this uh, value that's integer and we have to convert to the stringers that's how message box can so show us as a string of value so that's why I, we did all that okay this variable is not created in the child packages so if you guys remember that this is created in the parent package so uh, that's how it is going to work but we have we are using in our child package so I'm going to hit a save here and now close and we are all good here you see right there there is no variable in the child package so we but we are using uh, the variable from the parent package because in the parent package we are telling to which uh, pair, uh, child package to use and uh, once uh, we tell uh, this parent package uh, to use the child package then all the variables uh, of parent package are accessible from the child package now if I go ahead and uh, execute my parent package what's gonna happen is gonna call the child package and inside the child package we have a script task and uh, if you guys see right there the value 100 is uh, appeared on this message box right there so this is our parent package it is still executing our child package because it is stuck on that window so once we hit ok then it is going to complete successfully now this is our child package and it is shown us the value of that variable of parent package 
hit uh, all good now we can go to the parent package again and uh, let's let me see instead of 100 we can do 500 and uh, then uh, retest our package then. so i'm gonna uh, re right click go to the execute package on the parent and now parent package is calling uh, our child package see right there is calling our child package pa child package has been started and uh, the window has appeared that is shown as a message saying uh, the value is 500 in the variable so this looks all good and i'm gonna hit uh, okay so this is how you will create your parent and child package and pass uh, the value from the parent to the child so thank you very much for watching and i hope uh, this uh, video will help uh, please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next videos